I just got lucky. My neighbor just gave me a free John Deere lawn tractor in running condition. It's hydrostatic. 38 inch cut with a Kawasaki motor, some grass catchers, and a good quality Kawasaki motor. I think it's 16 horsepower. It actually seems to run perfect, but it has a couple problems. He also gave me the 48 inch snow blower front attachment for it in perfect condition. He hardly used it, but that's at the farm. Well, the first problem with it isn't easy to fix, but probably cheap. <clears throat> this little lever here on the side of the motor goes to a thing with weights on it that spin and move out, and that's called the governor, and it goes to the spring and throttle mechanism. Well, that governor is somehow disconnected inside the motor, so when you move the throttle, the motor either revs way too high or way too low. It's really hard to find an RPM where it'll work properly at. It just seems to go one way or the other. So I actually have to remove the motor, split open the crank split open the crankcase, and see what's wrong inside. The other problem is I think the O-ring's blown out of here. Where the dipstick goes in because oil comes out th around there. And one more problem, he said, is when it motor gets really hot, it seems to misfire and cut out. I've already checked and there's no mouse nest inside or grass buildup. So maybe when I have the engine all tore apart, I can see there's the rare problem where it could actually be the magneto coil heating up and malfunctioning under, you know, extreme heat. Or it could be because the motor's running at su such high RPM sometimes that it's overheating. So let's take, let's take this bitch apart and see what she's got inside that motor and see what's going on. John Deere's are my favorite tractor. That's what I use at my farm. Perfect day for doing this kind of work. Just got the electric clutch off that drives the blades. The little pulley that drives the rear wheels. And now I'm draining the oil. I have to drain the oil because this spigot that comes out of the motor for oil drain is caught in the frame. If you don't remove the spigot, then you can't get the motor out. So the motor is unbolted and it comes out with the exhaust system attached. Wires are off, just got to lift it now when the oil's done. Easy as that. Nothing but a little oil. Now we can flip it over and pull the crankcase cover off. A little gas running out of the carburetor, but who cares? Looks simple enough. Bolts are all out. Let's see what's happening inside this beast. Well, it's easy to see now what went wrong. There's the O-ring where the oil dipstick goes through and the oil dipstick tube is all chewed off on the end. And there's the governor. It's got a plastic gear and the plastic gear is all broken up for some reason. And there's a chunk of it I found inside the crankcase. So, looks cheap to fix. And there's another part in there. I guess some other broken governor part. Doesn't look like it hurt the motor. I guess these are the counterweights for the governor. So we're off to the John Deere store to get some parts for the tractor and fix her all up. Look there, over yonder. Farmer's heaven. Well, as usual, the parts are ordered. They'll be in in a couple days. The governor is out. Used to go there. There's some of the pieces. So a new governor and a new dipstick tube because that was damaged. 
almost $15 later and we're laughing we're gonna have a fixed lawnmower I mean lawn tractor just pressed it on with my fingers simple as that now it's time for the big test the motor is assembled installed should be ready to fire up if the battery's still good had to dump a bit of gas in the carb to prime it since the carb was dry and drained and then I'll have to readjust the governor by loosening that lock nut and moving this arm on that shaft the tiniest bit back and forth just takes a bit of trial and error so here we go Aww. I don't even think I need to adjust the governor. Seems just right. Sweet. <laughs> 